Hola, mis amigos. Buenas tardes. I am trying to learn how to film directly from my computer and seeing if this works. And we're here today. Do you want to say hi, Matt? Sure. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Matt's here putting groceries away. Um, yeah, we're working on our internet today, and Matt's going to take a look at the forward stanchions, the bow pulpit. Is it called the bow pulpit? Pulpit. The pulpit. In the pushpit. In the, in the bow. <laughs> the pulpit and the bow. So I think today is the first time I haven't put the heater on when we got inside the boat. It's nice and warm in here. We don't have that much to report this week. We have friends come um, from Texas. So they were here for about three days. We did get to sort of sail. It was like one knot. Um, not much wind and we couldn't stay out long enough for when the wind did pick up because we had to get back under the bridge in time. And you can hear Zephyr having a fit because there's birdies or something outside. Um, I'll have to figure out how to cut out background noise. I don't know how to do that yet, but that's something that I can learn this week. And yeah, we took our friends out. Um, it's pretty uneventful. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't. They got to see sea lions, but nothing else. It was kind of overcast and foggy that day, and we have a few months left to get our boat in ship shape. And I think we're doing pretty well. So Matt, what are you working on? Well, I'm gonna try to replace this. No, not replace. It. It itself. We're going to take it off and replace whatever underneath. And I see already that there are no washers that are backing this up. Just the nuts and I think there's one rusted out, rusty washer. So I'm going to try to get my phone and see what these are mounted into. Let's see. Something was loose in there, but I can't really see. There's a few washers. There's not a lot of room for washers. What I love about the camera, you can stick it in places that I can't put my head comfortably and start So you recording. want washers to make it more secure? Yeah. It doesn't look like I'll be able to do it here though because it's a lip and there's not a lot of room. A lip underneath? <clears throat> it's just a little area, so it might not fit the washer even. Oh. Um, a little area in the back there. Yeah, I bet there's a nut in that glass. In the fiberglass? Yeah, because you could see up. I think there's no plywood at the top here. And I'm seeing through, it's like an orange color, but there's a plate that looks really big. And I'm like, where's that plate? I think it's just light blocking it. I didn't quite see it in this one, I'll have to review it. Come on, boy. Damn sturdy. Come on, boy. Come on. Not, so. uh. Yeah, and that one has no backing. So that's really the weakness, and these are really sturdy. And you know, these are open back here too, so these will, these will wiggle around a little bit more anyway, just because of that, but you can tell at the bottom how yeah. kind of loose they are. These don't wiggle, well, they have a place that's fixed in here, but I think also it's really strong in there. Hmm. Here comes everybody. I don't have my phone in a pocket before I sit down or it's unsecured wallet or anything. So these are the strong ones and then the one up front I think those are kind of suspect. There's our dock neighbors having fun while we're working. This is the one, once we get 
it taken off. We might have to scrape a little bit, especially tape up the bottom and then just pour the glue and whatever kind of stuff along the top and redrill everything. And these we can see from the bow, so we should look in the V berth. Okay. On sides. So I can't, you know, get six up here too, but. Yeah, they're all the same pretty much unless there's something that's made for that I can kind of you know I can tap around it sounds a little hollow a little it's not solid there they, they've been tightened so much that it actually cracked up yeah. through into the plywood so the plywood's soft and probably need to be dug out and kind of re-epoxied and such but that's what we got the kit for it'll be a project and the bolts are a lot tinier in diameter than you'd imagine. So we may upgrade those too. So let's look mm -hmm. at this. Okay. Everybody to the back of the boat. Back to the back of the back of the boat. We're going into the dark fever. Oh, it's scary. Yeah, same thing here. Just a little... If I remember correctly, it's where we had a leak once or twice. Sure. And there is rust around one of them, but they're not sucked up into the wood, which is good. On this side. Yeah, there's one. The front most one and second one on that anyway replacing all of them but they're exactly how those spaces are drilled so i wonder if catalina direct doesn't sell a kit that would match that whole pattern that would be sweet well if they don't i think they should now yeah i'm going to show you because they do have a kit right near you i think they make this nice gusseted kit and it replaces whatever maybe wasn't there before. But I think our last owner or so got these. Huh. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of drilling, but it's stainless steel. And if it's already made, then you wouldn't have to be cutting it in that kind of triangular shape. It could be in any shape, I guess, but I don't want to start doing that. Um, so hopefully we find someone that lets them. push with the pulpit <laughs> in the bow the pulpit is in the bow so you only need to say pulpit <laughs>